So Little Island is formed by 132 pots that are sprung up from the Hudson River. And these two, and the pots are all connected by um, plastic, essentially, or HDP that um, interface the two pieces, or interface the concrete. They can't physically touch each other. So there needs to be a material that spans between them onto which then a concrete slab is poured to create a uniform deck. So we had a problem whereby the, the, the material that spans between them was having to form a series of complicated steps, which we felt was going to detract from the power of the pots themselves. So we asked the workshop to make a one-to-one -one mock up that zoomed in in a real small detail at how, actually how bad we think this overcomplication of the HDPE or, or, or filler material was going to be. So what was quite interesting about that scenario is normally we get the workshop to make models of things to prove to everyone how beautiful they are, whereas in this instance we had to ask the workshop to make a model to prove how bad something would look. So they spent a long time crafting it and making a beautiful thing, only to prove the fact that what they were making was actually not going to look very good at all. It was important because the, the certain things are quite hard to visualise. Now this was a material that's black and spanned between two white things. So every time we tried to visualise it, you would just end up seeing a blur of, of triangulated that, that didn't actually do justice to how bad it would actually look. Whereas with a physical model, we could take photographs, shine the lights in the right directions and really do justice to how bad it was, was going to look. This was quite visible in some areas, especially when you walk through the park. You know, it's, it's the, some of the first things you see, so it's quite an important interface between two things come together.